Good morning, everybody. It is 7 a.m. My voice sounds a little raspy this morning, but that's what usually happens when you wake up. Anyways, I'm so excited for today. I'm so excited for this week ahead and just fucking killing it. I don't know what it is, but like waking up at like 6.15 may be a little too late for some people, but for me, it's like the perfect time. And I'm trying to go to the gym earlier, but since I'm talking to you guys, it's gonna take a few more minutes, but I'm gonna go to the gym right after this. Anyways, I am so excited for the week ahead excited to do my routine every single day my morning routine every time like literally a few hours before bedtime i'm like yes I can't wait for the next morning and being productive and starting my day right after that But this video is all about how I stay motivated and just taking you guys along throughout this whole week of working out Eating healthy having a good healthy mindset and just hanging out with you guys I'm gonna pack my things up We're gonna go to the gym listen to a podcast while we drive there and it's gonna be a good fucking time These shorts are actually supposed to be like seven inch biker shorts. What did I do? I rise them up to my asshole, made them three inch booty shorts because it looks better that way and I just feel cuter. If you're just starting out at the gym or you have no idea what to do when you work out and you just don't feel motivated, get cute workout clothes. I feel like that's a big part of why my workouts are just so good and makes me feel so good is because of what I wear. That could just be like a psychology thing and I am here for it. Because if I'm not wearing anything cute, if I'm just wearing, I don't know, like the clothes I used to wear when I first started my fitness journey, they were, they were not it. I didn't know how to work out. So obviously I was just on the treadmill for like two hours. But now, bitch, we are lifting heavy. We are getting our gains and we are eating good. See you guys at the gym. Say bye, couples. is about to die it died when i was working out at the gym so i don't know how much content i got out of that but that was such a good workout guys usually i have like really really good workouts every session because i'm just putting my mind into it and really focusing on like the outcome of my workout instead of just like oh i need to do this i need to get that butt i need to get these strong legs like no i focus on the outcome now by feeling good and out of these past five years i finally just let go and realize our bodies are going to change and it's never going to stay the same so we might as well just love our bodies through every step of the way when we go through our fitness journey so even when i started and i barely saw any results and i thought i had a fat ass <laughs> Even though I really didn't have a fat ass. Not at all. It was literally a flat pancake butt And I mean, I don't really have like a huge ass booty, but I have seen a big transformation Anyways, the main reason why I focused on my body so much and like thinking that nothing has ever changed was because of Body dysmorphia and I feel like everyone gets that when they start working out and they start their fitness journey but you really have to look at your transformation take those transformation pictures those progress pictures because you will see you guys will see all the progress you've made so far and it's just insane because like 
we're actually putting in the work. And even though you might not see quick results, in the long run, it'll all be worth it. So, you know, just keep going, just show up at the gym, do the workouts you need to do to feel good, look good, everything in between. But my camera is about to die, so I have no idea when this is going to quit on me. But I am going to do my little morning routine. You guys know the drill. I'm going to read my power of your subconscious mind. I'm almost done it. Guys, it took me like two months, two to three months to finish this book. And usually I finish a book within like a month. I only really read in the morning and then during the day I have content to shoot, but I feel like in between I should do a little break where I just read or go for a walk and then read instead of just looking at my phone the whole time because I think that's a big issue with working on social media and doing everything on your phone and your computer. It's not good for your eyes. And then after that, I do my good morning affirmations. So how the hell did I manage to be on my phone for like an hour and a half. What's up with my hair? Okay, usually I have a lot of self-control when it comes to being on my phone, but for some reason, I just couldn't stop scrolling. And for the most part, when I go on my phone, I've told you guys this before, but usually I would try to find inspiration. Sometimes when I try to find inspiration, you just keep mindlessly scrolling until you find like the perfect piece of content that pleases your eye and just like makes you think that this is the perfect Perfect content to kind of replicate but I just get to my head sometimes and think oh the most perfect content is gonna get the most views when in reality guys the videos that I barely put time and effort in get more views than the ones that actually do so if you're trying to be a content creator or just wanting to put out more content for your followers and get like the right type of people to come just keep posting because it'll come and I should probably take that advice as well because sometimes I give out the best advice but I never use it upon myself. I did not tell anyone this because I thought it was kind of embarrassing. The only person who knew was Brayden, of course, because we went to the hospital. I had to go get checked out because I hit my head on the bar. Yeah, I'm fucking stupid. I'm already stupid. I, how can I get stupider than this? So I should stop saying that. I should stop putting negative energy towards myself. But anyways, I went to the store and I got some B6, B12 for your brain. <laughs> because for the past week, all I kept seeing were like white spots everywhere. I had like a huge massive migraine for six days and I still went to the gym. I still did physical activity. I still did things that I wasn't supposed to do. So that was bad on my part, but now I feel so much better. This is the B6, B12 combined. Wow, would you look at that? And then the omega-3s. So I'll take both of these together. So it has been a couple hours. I just had the best salmon bowl meal ever and it was made by moi. I didn't film it, I should have, but I wanted to make sure that it actually tasted good because sometimes when I film things and I cook it, I may have burned it, but I didn't burn it this time. It was chef's kiss. It was so good, but I think I'm going to have it again tomorrow. So I'm just gonna have the leftovers and then show you guys because oh my god, I could eat that for days. As you can see, I'm like really comfy. I'm in my robe. I'm not gonna show you guys the mess behind me or there, but I'm gonna go take a shower now. Oh, who do I hear coming down? Who is this? Hello, good morning. Hi, you came to see me? Gonna go to bed as soon as my hair is dry because I'm tired. Did I tell you guys about the sauna? Because I went into the sauna for the first time this morning at my gym and it is like a luxury gym. I'm not trying to brag, but this gym is honestly phenomenal and I would not trade it for any other gym in the world. And that's saying a lot, but this gym has a sauna and I haven't been meditating recently. So I feel like the best time for me to do it is when I'm done my workout. It was just the best feeling ever. Pebbles, I don't know why you come down here when you want to go upstairs, but you can't because you're so chunky and you need help going upstairs. You should have just stayed upstairs because I'm going to have my little meditation shower. Oh, now he's just laying down there. Maybe he'll just chillax while I have my meditation shower.
guys, I need to tell you guys about something very tragic that happened last night, but I have come to save the day because I found it. <laughs> I found it for so very cheap and I just scored the same perfect lens. So, sorry, I'm in my activewear, but it is clearly the next day. And last night, I don't think this was my fault, to be honest, because this was something I couldn't control and the damage was done. I dropped my camera. I think it was because of my tripod that was sliding off of the counter, which made it drop right onto the edge of the lens. The lens wouldn't focus. And here it was, rest in peace. But I got the new same lens for 50 bucks, but we will continue on tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning and we're gonna be doing a another lower body day. She's actually making some good progress with her badonkadonk. Good morning. Another day, another workout in the books. Y'all like my workout fit for today? I keep switching my workout fit every single day because I feel like a bad bitch and wouldn't want to feel cute while working out. Right now it is currently 7.08 and I'm going to be heading out soon. I just warmed up the car. It's so fucking cold today. Minus 17, but I'm so tired of this weather. Daylight saving times is coming, baby. Gonna finish drinking this water, put all my stuff away, and then head out the door. Open to the very end. Oh, I'm not perfect, but I hope you see my bed. Such a good day. My mood is like high up here not down here it's high up here kind of just got home not really but um i've been setting the mood in my surrounding area because i just feel like today's gonna be such a fucking good day i feel like i'm gonna get everything done today before i do anything i'm gonna have my fruit bowl read a few pages of the power of your subconscious mind say my good morning affirmations journal hi pebbles hi you had a good W today? And then I added this book onto my daily routine, but that's gonna be later on today. So I'm just gonna read some of that too. So while I do all of this, I'm gonna charge my camera because it's at 15%. And I don't think I got like any workouts filmed today. I was just in my zone, so I didn't even have my camera out. I should have filmed at least one thing, but no, I did not. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Hello friends. So, the package came in and I decided why not open it for the camera? Also, I dropped my fucking camera again and it's because of my fucking stupid tripod. So I think I'm gonna order a new tripod that actually doesn't slide because this tripod doesn't have an attachment on the bottom so it easily slides off any flat surface. But I'm glad she's working, except I don't know if it's working properly because the lens kind of like blurs out every time I move or like make a huge movement. Like if I go this way, it tries to refocus it. I don't know. I really hope this lens is okay, but I think I'm gonna get a new camera anyways and invest in a really good one. Also, I'm eating some butter chicken from last night. I'm really hungry and I was gonna make breakfast, but it is way past breakfast time. And Pebbles is right here again. Mm -hmm. He always comes here when there's food, but every time there's not food, he's on the other side of the couch sleeping. Let's open up this package. Oh, okay, I think I know what this one is. <clears throat> Oh, cute. I like the packaging. She's cute. CBD oil. Cute. So that company is from Plant of Life. They sent me over some CBD healing stick. So I think you just smear it onto your wrist or whatever. And it has a good scent to it while you're just relaxing. Ooh, that kind of smells good. Mm-hmm. And then they also sent over some Calm CBD oil. So I guess when you're having anxiety or just wanting to relax in whatever state you're in, take that damn CBD oil. Oh, it has 0 0.3 milligrams of THC and then 20 milligrams of CBD. So honestly, I don't really know the difference between THC and CBD. Um, I think the THC is what makes you high. And then the CBD is like... How do I explain this? Here we go. 
CBD 101. What is CBD? <laughs> it says it right here in the first page of the pamphlet. CBD is associated with the medicinal and healing properties of the plant that does not produce a high, unlike THC, which is the psychoactive component. Thank you, plant of life. I am definitely gonna be using this probably tomorrow during my sauna session. It is currently six o'clock. I decided I'm gonna make a bunch of seafood tonight and you know who loves, loves seafood? My cousins, especially one of them. But I have decided why not host a little dinner party because I haven't had people over in a long time and it's not like I have people over at all, but it's gonna be so good. Butter shrimp is cooking. Oh no, this one's flipped. These are some fried pork dumplings and then I'm just gonna have to put some water in here and then have that covered up. I'm excited about this because I love baked potato. It's gonna be a good time. So I'm just gonna wait for them. They're gonna be coming in like 30 minutes and then we're gonna eat because I'm really hungry. Yeah, look at this. Mm. The second one has arrived. <laughs> Oh my god, I look terrible right now. I just got back from the gym. Pretty much an hour ago, I had to do my little morning routine before I actually start my day today. But I just finished journaling, reading, saying my affirmations. I'm going to also do a little bit of savasana today. And if you guys don't know what it is, it's just like meditating and yoga at the same time. I did go in the sauna this morning as well. I've been going every single morning after my workout. I feel so good and my body just feels so light after I come out of the room and just being in there, it makes you feel so good. Recently, it's been getting busy in the sauna, so I'm trying to go to the gym a little bit earlier so I have the time to myself in the sauna. Today was such a good day at the gym. Like the gym is the highlight of my day, even though I haven't really started my day. The gym is my highlight because I love just smiling at people. I love talking to people. I love having just these like small genuine conversations with everybody that I really don't know and it's just such a good feeling because the gym is like my prime time of being able to talk to as many people as I can. Oh no, that doesn't sound right. Just socializing with people and I think that was just like a big part of COVID where I wasn't able to socialize with everyone. I used to hate talking to people at the gym but COVID and the pandemic made me realize like, wow, I actually need social interaction in my life and I just need to have people to talk to. So if you're an introvert like me, I'm kind of in the middle now. So things have changed guys, but if you're an introvert, try to get out of your comfort zone and be confident. Like pretend you're confident because then you're actually being confident. So I think it's just a mentality thing. Don't get me wrong. There's some situations where there's a lot of people talking and it feels like you're just there and you're in your own thoughts and you don't even talk. You don't even communicate with the people that are in the room. That's how I am too. So don't get me wrong there because sometimes when you want to say things, you just don't and that's fine. Thank you. Why are you so mad? Hmm? I'm taking you out. So 
so Pebbles, what did we learn today? Because you're like a really bad boy. You kept barking at everybody and made such a big scene. It made me not want to be the owner of Pebbles. I was like, this is not my dog. I didn't say that, but in my head, I was just like, this is not my dog. So we're home now. He went to the small dog park and the big dog park. And he was not very good at the big dog park because he just barked at people, not even like playing with the dogs, just barking at people. Like these two girls just standing there, minding their own business. And then there goes Pebbles, just fucking yapping. And then everyone just stares at you. And I'm like, bro, I don't know how to stop this. And I just try to grab his harness, but no, 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 no. He tries to run away from me. Did I take him to a few training classes? Yes, I did. Was he good? No, because he didn't graduate. So, you're a bad boy. You're really bad. It's really fun. I feel like, speaking from personal experience and being who I am, there's nothing more. I'm pretty sure I've told you guys this already, but. I just love cooking now. I used to not be such a big fan of cooking and being in the kitchen, but ever since I have my own kitchen and I can have everything I want in the pantry and in the fridge and in every single cabinet, it just feels right. Moving out and living on your own, well, I'm not living on my own, but you guys know what I mean. You feel a lot more responsible, but in such a weird, really good way, it feels good to have your shit together. You just wanna be healthy, you wanna be productive, you wanna clean your house. I was never that type of person when I used to live at home, but now I just wanna do everything. When someone tells me to do things and forces me to clean, I don't wanna be forced to be doing something that I was already going to do or just being told what to do in general. I hate it, especially when living at home, it's all you hear. But now I know what my parents mean. I know why they want me to clean and all that, but it's just such a different vibe when you live alone. A little taste test for you guys. Oh my god, this looks so fucking good. She's a chef. And it smells so good too. My mouth is watering. Wow. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, well, I'm gonna continue eating this and watch some YouTube, but I'm proud of myself. Baby, you're the kind of guy that I should make a move.